Hi, I'm Tucker Thomason with uh, Shitbird Productions, and uh, I have just been granted special permission to uh, visit the Democratic Republic of Pizza. Um, I got sent specifically for this because of my close proximity to the Democratic Republic of Pizza, which is a micro nation uh, just outside Evansville, Indiana. So I am en route now. It's about an hour drive for me to get there from my house. Uh, quick background on the DEROP. Um, they've been a micro nation uh, nestled in southern Indiana for some time now. Uh, there have been a few trade agreements that have kind of gone sour as of lately, dealing with their primary import, which happens to be alcohol. Uh, they're a very uh, close-knit, very closed-off nation that uh, hasn't really been super open to the rest of the world um, until now. They're attempting to start negotiations to change that a little bit, hopefully for the better of themselves and the rest of the world, because I'm certain that there's much that their culture, which we know next to nothing about, uh, that their, their culture could uh, bring to the rest of the world and to the international community. Packed a few minimal supplies here for my journey, just enough to last me for a day or so. Um, yeah, the road's pretty desolate here. There isn't much traffic to or from DROP. Like I said, they've been closed off for a long time. And uh, it's not until very recently that they decided to start uh, start uh, negotiating trade agreements with the outside world again, mostly the United States, due to uh, complications getting their primary import, which is, uh, as I stated before, alcohol. Everywhere you look, you can still see remnants left over from the from the Great Pizza War. For example, this, bar this uh, barracks was constructed um, maybe uh, 40 minutes north of the DROP lines. Okay, so uh, we've arrived here at the DROP, which is right up there. So let's see what's going on with this very reclusive society that has been existing amongst us. After spending several hours in customs, I was given a special knock to enter into the inner sanctum, which housed most of the populace of the DROP. I was not prepared for what awaited me inside. Empty liquor bottles and pizza containers ran from wall to wall as far as the eye could see. I got a chance to sit down with two of the founding members of the DROP upon my arrival to ask them about their belief system, Sorry. namely the practice known as the days of consumption. If anything, it's just more pizza, so... It's late Monday night, um, it's about 8.28 p.m., day one of the days of consumption. Can you guys tell me about the days of consumption leading to the days of crust? Today is the first of the six days of consumption. We start with Star Wars, episode one, The Phantom Menace, and uh, end with episode six on Saturday. <laughs> We test our bodies to pay tribute to pizza. We uh, begin by consuming two large meat lovers pizzas and ingest as much alcohol as our bodies will let us, constantly testing not only our limits but our devotion to pizza. Perhaps I can find ways to move. I tell you, this station will be operational as planned. The Emperor does not share your optimistic appraisal of the situation. The days of consumption basically train us to to meet our maker of pizza. M many people are curious about the uh, day of crust and what importance it has to the days of consumption. The day of crust is much like our rest uh, in which we sleep for a 24-hour period. It is every Sunday 
and it is the day. It is the end of the days of consumption. The days of crest are vital because we do not sleep for the entirety of the six days of consumption. To further our relationship with pizza. You should be too proud. Let the and poor Chewbacca never return from this awful place. I'm sitting here with the founding members of the DROP. Uh, can you tell me how you uh, found the DROP and what led you to join? I'm Ben, and my age is irrelevant. Basically, I am a founding member of the DROP. We started during the immigration period. The DROP has been a self-sustaining country based solely on the teachings of pizza. Could you uh, give us a brief history of the DROP, seeing as you've been with it since its inception thousands of years ago? Our people have been around four thousands of years, as you said since the great immigration period from the vast lands. Stationed in what is now known as North America, the Americans came to our land and built a country around our nation. Um, I understand the DROP doesn't technically have a uh, government, so I'm just curious how this works in the context of your society. The DROP is an autonomous collective that es essentially executes what we believe to be the will of pizza. There are no rulers, there is no government, there is only pizza. After the interview with Ben, I began to get a little more of a grasp on how dedicated the members of the DROP are to their way of life. Next I met with Matt another one of the founding members, and the man who contacted me for the interview. We're sitting here with another member of the DROP. Uh, can you introduce yourself and how you came to be a part of this nation? My name's Matt, and uh, I've been here for a few thousand years. I've lost track, and truthfully, my age is irrelevant. As far as how I came to be here, I introduced alcohol to the founders. They saw it as a worthy tribute to pizza. Also, I love pizza. Why, why now have you started having difficulties obtaining alcohol within the DROP? Surrounding nations have begun placing embargoes on the drop nation's alcohol resources. Plus that shit ain't cheap. Why have these uh, surrounding nations placed these embargoes on the DROP? I mean, you guys seem pretty uh, detached and kind of cut off from the rest of them. I don't think you could have done anything to anger them or anything. It's because those motherfuckers are jealous with our relationship with pizza. Uh, I guess that brings me to my last question. Um, has the consumption of alcohol, only alcohol and pizza, had any negative effects on the citizens of the DROP? Listen, we've devoted our lives to alcohol and pizza. Therefore, we only find benefits within them. As far as our health, <laughs> Pizza has granted us immortality, and alcohol has granted us godlike sexual prowess. I next met with Tim, who I later found out had taken a vow of silence to further his relationship with pizza, according to the other members. My attempt to interview him was cut short, as the other members did not want me speaking to him, although I did not know this, and the interview ended abruptly. I'm here with uh, another drop house member whose name I have yet to, uh, the name of, um, could you tell us your name and how you came to the DROP? What are you, what are you doing? Hey, we, Ben, get the camera. Tim, come on. We did not agree to this. We did not, get the camera out of the face. Get the camera out of here. Alright, so I've been hanging out with the members 
of the DROP since I woke up and uh, I've never drank this much in my life. I've never eaten this much pizza in my life. Um, these people are all very devoted to what they believe. They're very devoted to their way of life. Um, they're very dedicated to keep what they have going, going. As difficult as adjusting to the way of life that these people had was for me, the next stage of my initiation into the DROP was even more difficult. Killing the bottle of vodka I brought with me was the most difficult thing I'd ever done in my life. I began to reconsider every decision I had ever made in my life up to that point that had led to the foul mistake that I was committing at that time. The destruction of my liver was almost complete. Damn it. Uh, I'm here at DROP. DROP. My name's Tucker. Uh, I've uh, been living with the DROP for thousands of years, but uh, my age is irrelevant. <laughs>